Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good afternoon everyone We are from group 5 Today we are going to present our presentation work Which is about analysis of farming management system of coffee community Before we start our presentation Let me introduce our team first Basically group 5 is consists by 5 members Which are Dila, Gina, Leli, Salma, and I, Diamar Pitaloka. Student numbers 8071-9046 Firstly, we are going to know about the background of our study research. Coffee beans are the basic ingredient in many people's favorite drink. The coffee business is the most profitable in this era, with coffee shops mushrooming all over the region. This promising opportunity for agricultural business development and makes coffee as the most cultivated agricultural commodities. But the high demand from the market caused Various coffee varieties to be created and each variety has its own characteristic. We really hope that our study research or this paper can help coffee farmers to get more information about coffee so they well informed and educated, improving skill and ability, having good management, and they can use technology more wisely so they get a productivity increase and better economic condition. These are uh, several purposes of our study research. The first one is knowing the pattern of coffee commodity farming in Indonesia. To knowing and understanding about cropping patterns or cultivation activities that selected by coffee farmers in Indonesia. Three, knowing the technology that is used in order to support coffee farming. Knowing the economic side and business opportunities for coffee commodities. And the last one is understand about agricultural business opportunities and the things to maximize the potential of coffee farming in Indonesia. In our study research, we are using descriptive method which is done with a quantitative and qualitative approach and the data that is used were collected from scientific journals and books that is support the discussion or topics about the commodity, uh, sorry, about the coffee commodity farming in Indonesia. The next is several early chart reviews that we are using to strengthen our study research. So I will read this shortest one. Increasing the welfare of farmers is needed. One of them is by introducing agriculture technology. Technology adoption studies are important to understand. The application of agriculture technology, including the introduction of new plants, Superior varieties are new production technologies. And these are another uh, literature reviews that we are using too. The first one is from Surateno ETAL 2014 and Ikhwana 2017. Okay, my name is Alia Salsadila and now I will present about coffee in Indonesia. So guys, you all know that Indonesia be the part of the highest coffee production in the world. Why? Because in Indonesia, our country has special climate. Our country has suitable climate for coffee to grow and develop. We even reached 700,000 tons of coffee production in 2018. So, we also have three main lanes for biggest production of coffee. The first one is Sumatra, Java, and then Sulawesi. Coffee is one of example of perennial crops. So it is important to take a look on the environment so they can reach optimum production. For the climate itself, we are four concerned today. There are soil, altitude, temperature, and precipitation. Indonesia as tropical country have three types of coffee that can grow perfectly. They are Arabica, Robusta, and Liberica. Thus, these three coffee will be developed by local as their own type of coffee, like Kopi Lampung, Kopi Manheling, and others. Okay, so now we jump into what type of environment that can invest the production of coffee. And for the first one, we have soil. In general, coffee needs more nitric nutrients to grow. Besides that, coffee also needs more climate factors, such as light, water, air, and others. So the perfect acidity of soil, or we call it as pH, for coffee is around 5.5 until 6.5. 
In Indonesia, coffee also grows well in volcanic soil like Kulut, Semeru, Tengger, and Raung. So for the second one, we have precipitation, or in Indonesia we call it as curah hujan. Actually, coffee is more dry season for blooming their flowers, but they also need 18 mm precipitation per month or it same as 2 until 3 frequently rains in a month for a better production. Basically, all type of coffee have different requirements to get a better production. Okay, for the first example, we have Arabica or Covea Arabica. This type of coffee needs 1250 until 1850 meters above sea level for altitude and around 17 until 21 degrees Celsius to grow. And for your information, Arabica is also susceptible for fungus called Hemilia fastatrix. But when Arabica are present on Indonesia environment that have 1000 until 1750 meters above sea level with 16 until 20 degrees Celsius, this disease will be prevalent. For the second one, we have Robusta or Covea canepora. This type of coffee needs 300 until 700 meters above sea level with temperature around 21 until 24 degrees Celsius to grow. If we not look carefully, we may find that Arabica and Robusta are apparently the same. But if we get close enough, we will find any difference between them. Arabica have a larger coffee bean than Robusta. This type of coffee have more strong fragrance and taste. Arabica also can live in highland or dataran tinggi. Meanwhile, Robusta only can live in lowland or dataran rendah. The price of Arabica is also more expensive than Robusta. Okay, and for the last type of coffee that can live and usually cultivated by local is Liberica. Actually, Liberica is more flexible coffee. Why? Because they don't need any requirement for better production. Liberica even can live in a lowland and have a lack of nutrients. But the environment itself must be healthy as well, such as soil, air, water must help them to grow and develop. Hello guys, let me introduce myself. I am Salma Nabil Weda. Today, I will explain about coffee planting system. Uh, before we talk uh, about coffee further, uh, I will show that the biggest coffee plantation in Indonesia is handled by smallholder plantation. Or in Indonesia, we call it perkebunan rakyat. That is 1.194 million hectare in 2018. This data obtained from BPS atau Badan Pusat Statistik. Coffee planting system uh, divided into five steps. The first step is nursery, land preparation, cultivation, plant care, and the last is harvesting. The first is nursery. The first step to plant coffee is to nursery. Coffee seed is planted on nursery bed, bed or Indonesia we call it bedingan or in polybag with planting media in the form of soil, topsoil, manure or pupuk kandang, fine sand and the proportion is 1, 1 and 1. After 9 months, coffee can, can be transplanted in the land that uh, we have been prepared before. Uh, the second step is land preparation. Actually, this is the first step because uh, land for coffee is need for a long time to be prepared. Coffee needs set plant, so if we will plant coffee, make sure that the place have a set plant, or you will plant it first. Uh, coffee is cultivation crops so if if we will open a plantation the first step is 
clearing the set from the tray. We can do it by burning land, but it's not good for our environment. There is other ways to do it. Uh, and the next is max set plan. This is penaung, uh, pohon penaung. Uh, and the second is the hall with the distant cropping. After we dig hall, uh, the hall is lived by us for six months and uh, give fertilizer if they need. And the next step is cultivation. After the land and calf visit are ready, the next step is transplanting the calf visit into in polybag to land. Then the coffee in the hot in the hot that has been prepared, but before that, uh, the land should be watered first. Okay, the next step is land care. Land care is can be used can use fertilizer, clearing weeds, and the other. And the last step is harvest time. Uh, coffee needs 2.5 until 5 years to harvest. Okay, thanks uh, for today. The next mentory will be explained by, by my friend. Thank you. Hello guys, my name is Kina Safira Pichaso, NIMHA 0719082 and today I'm gonna talk about the technology that used in the coffee production. Before we talk about what is the technology that used in the coffee production, I'm gonna talk a little about the importance of technology in coffee production. Number one is the technology can affect the taste and the quality of green bean. The taste and the quality of green bean can in influence international market interest. And when the international market is interested in our green bean, it can increase the number of coffee export. The use of technology in coffee production is mostly carried out in the harvest to post-harvest process. And this is the processing stage in a harvest and post-harvest that using technology. Number one is stripping. Second is drying, third is roasting, and the last is distributing. Basically, there are two processing in the coffee production, namely washed and unwashed processing. Just like the name, the washed processing is using water in their process, while unwashed use less water and produce less waste. There are two type of machine that used in a coffee production in this stage. The first one is hauler machine and the second one is pulper machine. The hauler machine is used in unwashed process to separate the coffee beans from the rind, horn skin and the husk. And this is mostly to process robusta coffee. And the second one is pulper machine. The pulper machine is used in wash process and this is a fruit pillar so that the pulp can easily separate from the seeds and this is mostly to process Arabica coffee. The next step of the coffee production is drying process. Drying process is important to do because the water content in coffee should be reduced in by 9 until 11 percent. And drying process is the most important process to make sure the quality of green bean. The technology that used in a drying process is coffee drying box machine and to dry the green bean is it gonna take 16 until 18 hours. The next step is roasting process. Roasting process can affect the final taste of coffee and they mostly change, changing the physical form of green bean and transforming the volatile compound of coffee by producing nearly 1000 aroma component and the machine that used in the roasting process is a roasting drum. And the last step of post harvest process is distribution. In this day, there is so much technology that we can use to sell and to distribute our product. 
For example, we can use uh, e-commerce to sell the product and we can make a website to introduce and to promoting what is the product that we sell. Okay, that's all the technology that we use in a coffee production and thank you. Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Lely Ramawati Ningrum. I will uh, explain about coffee and economy in Indonesia. Uh, the first, coffee production. Coffee is of the plantation commodities which has an important role in generation for exchange. Indonesia is the fourth largest coffee producer in the in the world after Brazil, Vietnam, and Colombia. As consumers are in seventh place. Meanwhile, as a product of Indonesia plantation, coffee ranks seek after palm oil, rubber, sugar, tea, and cocoa. Uh, coffee productivity uh, we can see the tabel from the tabel it can be seen that until 20, 2020 it is estimated that Indonesian coffee production will increase with an average growth of 2.25 percent per years when compared with coffee production in 2016 which reached 634 477 tons then coffee production in 2020 was expect to increase by 9.21 percent or to 692 906 tons next consumption of coffee oh we can see Tabel. The result of the exponential growth trend analysis time series analysis for coffee consumption in 2016 until 2020 obtain a map value of 8.8.6 projection of coffee consumption in 216 until sorry sorry projection of coffee consumption in 2016 until 2020 are present in table from this table it can be seen that direct consumption for coffee in expect to increase in 2016 but will then this line until 2020 the table also provide a population projection with data source from BPS in this projection the population in 2016 until 2020 is estimated to increase every year. Thus, household demand in Indonesia for coffee will increase every year in line with the increase in Indonesia population. Business opportunities. The era of globalization is a challenge in itself in the world of coffee trending. Trading, the competition conditions are getting 
stock her where each country opens it markets to one another Na Lorita Erol 2014 state that product development diversification of process coffee such as roast coffee, instant coffee, mixed coffee, decaffeinated coffee, solu 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 coffee, beer coffee, and iced coffee has an important meaning because it can become a superior commodity that is highly competitive in the international market. Indonesia as a tropical country also has the opportunity to develop the diversified product of this processed coffee. Mm, according to Winantara Errol 2014, based on market aspect, technical aspect, human resource minutes aspect, legal and environmental aspect, and financial aspect of coffee business in Indonesia, it is very promising. The abundance of potential coffee products from various regions in Indonesia, as well as the large market for both export and domestic opportunities are sufficient reason to get involved in pursuing the coffee processing business. Uh, this is presentation for me. Thank you for your attention. So, the conclusion of our material is, coffee is a leading agriculture commodity that has good prospect in Indonesia. This is supported by a suitable Indonesian climate so that Indonesia becomes one of the largest coffee producers in the world. The success of coffee production can be reached through the right steps such as selecting superior seeds, good cultivation processes until the proper harvest and post-harvest processes supported by the wise use of the technology. By study research that we've done, uh, this is our suggestion for coffee farming management in Indonesia. The first one, there should be special attention to coffee cultivation due to the high business opportunities starting from improving agricultural resources, especially coffee farmers, to increase knowledge and skills from the preparation to post-harvest stages. 2. Development of technology is important to do, not only makes it easier in production but also in terms of distribution and sale of the result. It also necessary to develop the use of coffee product to increase its selling value. There needs to be a variety of mentoring as training from experts in order to build creative ideas and insights of coffee farmers. The last one, government programs are expected to be able to help coffee farmers to be competitive in this modern era. I think that's enough from us. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.